When Malaya first arrived to Big Cat Rescue, it appeared her vision was impaired. She was afraid of water so she wouldn't drink. She was thin and she spent half the day circling. We feared that she would not survive. So we took her to neurologist Dr. Levine to get answers. It is the left temporal, temporalis muscle. There's inflammation in the muscle. There's also a pretty diffuse meningitis along the right brain stem, which is why we're circling to the right. And right midbrain, left thalamus, left uh, parietal lobe, and then a small spot in the right frontal lobe. So there's a multifocal inflammation in our brain. So one needle goes in into the cisterna magna. Then we let the fluid come out by passive gravity. Now it should be clear that yours is hemorrhagic. And there are actually two hemorrhages in our brain as well. So I think that's real. And then we collect until we have a decent sample or the fluid stops or the fluid consistency changes. Treatment's all supportive anyway. It's keeping us hydrated, keeping nutrition, anti-inflammatory doses of steroids. Once all of her test results came back, it was concluded that the cause of her neurologic symptoms was due to an impact. Our rehab team gave her the care she desperately needed and slowly Malaya's symptoms subsided and she made a full recovery. Since her vision returned and she put on weight and was hunting on her own, it was time she lived up to her name once again. Free. Yep. 